In this video, I will go through the restore function for the database for ATS8600 software. If I open my installed software, we'll log in, and you will see that I've got no devices as well as no maps installed. So this is basically a blank ATS app. So this can happen when your PC crashed and you had to install the ATS from scratch. And you were lucky enough to have the backup auto backup function activated, which I've shown you in, in the first video I've made. So let's restore that backup. Now if I go to my backup. In the first video, I told you to make a software folder for ATS. I've got everything backed up here, as well as uh, automatically the ATS software will back up every evening at 4 o'clock, for instance. This is one of my settings. So, if you go on in Windows 10, you start, go down to UTC, UTC, and you'll see the ATS at 600 and a database restore. So I'll choose the database restore function. Do you want to restore? I say yes. Let's give it some time. I will tell you the last backup, it actually picked it up. Uh, it, so I don't want that file, I actually want another file to do to uh, restore. So I go back into it, it is at 600, backup, and I'll select the WASP2 full backup. And I'll say restore. Next. Restoring database. Upgrading to current version. Granting access. And let's hope that it worked. So I log back into my ATS8600 software. Remember, now you need to have the password that you originally had on your backup. And no longer the default support password. Devices, and my devices are back. You see it's blue, it's trying to connect, but it will go black just now, yellow. So it can't connect, doesn't see the panel, because I'm not linked to the panel at the moment. And if I go to my designer, you'll see the same thing. I've got my main screen and my... I go to monitor, sorry. Close this back up. I go to my first floor. There's my first floor. Just a hint, if you keep the control key in, you can scroll minimize and maximize your screen. So if you've got a big screen and you want to go it in and out, that's how you do it. Also what I do is with multiple screens I will move these to my second screen next door. Back to that. So I'll move these out to the another screen, this one as well. So I'll just move these out of the way. The second screen and that one as well. Just move it to a second screen and you've got the one screen with your graphics alone. Ground floor, same thing. I keep a control key in and I can scroll if I need to, if it's a very small uh, map. Got my reset, everything. So yes, everything restored beautifully on this one. And that's how you restore it, it is at 600 database. 
any comments just put it down below and i'll try to answer you in a new video thank you goodbye